gonna start over here on the dis the big pile of disappointment. I mean, <laughs> the big pile of wrapping paper. <laughs> so, quick story. I do see that this wrapping paper that you bought does have some Disney papers in it. I honestly don't tell you, know where these would sell. I mean, I think probably really truly vintage wrapping paper probably might sell on eBay. I don't know. I've never seen even looked at the market for them. Yeah. But I do know that. Every year it's a joy in our family whenever my mom breaks out her wrapping paper that she's had for the last 30 years. Yeah. So 20 and 30 years, cause she's got like rug rats and you know, like stuff straight out of the nineties and people just get a tickle out of that. You know, old, like Barbie when Barbie was, you know, loud and neon right. and whatever. So that I can understand, but I don't know. So, so, so the exact thing I was thinking when I bought this, he lied. <laughs> Wow. Even the stuff you bought is trying to get away. <laughs> <laughs> so the exact thing I was thinking when I bought these, he lied, was I would love for Nathan to be able to start that tradition of <laughs> having really old... Now, actually, this this is a twofold thing. First of all, I really just hate to see paper go to waste, even though we now have plants that actually make paper and it's completely a renewable resource now. That we're not having to cut down so many Amazon, Amazonian rainforests to kill trees and everything in order to make it. But my, my thought was that this could actually be used as filler paper for packages. Okay, that's so, to your point. So that was the main reason why I grabbed it and because, you know. But, you know, there are a couple of these that were in such nice shape that, you know, maybe you might want to wrap some Tinkerbell. <laughs> You know, maybe not the Santa presents, because they'd be like, wait, Santa shops at the garage sale store? <laughs> How did that happen? So what do we got today for today's So I, I brought up the, the other uh, thing that I found from previous video, the, that there were like three colors, and I, I just kind of thought maybe they might have belonged to like some kids, and they just each had their own color or something. I don't know. I'll do some serious cleaning on these. Yeah. Mini Mate Deluxe. How is this deluxe? This is like mini mate mini. I know, that's smart. That's smaller than the one that you bought me. The 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 Jim and the holograms. Mini playmate, yeah, the Jim and the holograms one. Because it's like neon pink. But you know what I'm what I am gonna say about these and the one that you bought me, however many years ago, they hold up. They do hold up. You, you don't you don't throw them around and they'll hold up. <laughs> yeah, whenever I first started going to the bins, I saw a lot of those little mini mates and. Um, and I never bought one, and I would go back later. I'm like, I really should start buying, you know, get one of those for myself. And then I, can, I could never find them again. But then you've got like 40 of them in the I last do have 40 of them. six weeks. All right, so... So we're on to a, a Ben's trip oh. where it's normal. No. What? Uh-oh. I, I just remembered what this day was all about. <laughs> was this another challenge day? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is actually sealed. Roman Rockwell jigsaw puzzle. 500 pieces. And it's sealed. It must, be, it must be tiny. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm That's okay with sealed that. as well. What is this? That is also sealed. That's oh, from it's that. from a Broadway. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was Broadway. Okay, I'm good there. Sealed. Extra good. This one is for you. I think you will like it. Oh, I don't know. I, I think I, I think you would actually like him. Yeah, I do. Album. I mean, I like their hits, so I probably would like their album. Yeah. I'll check it out. Uh, this... Yeah. I'm not going to say that I already have You know what? Either. You know what? I'm going to leave this with you. I, I do actually believe I have this on CD already. This is a fantastic album. Like, one of, one of the great 80s albums. Well, what is it? Book of Love. That's the name of the band? Yeah. Book of Love. Yeah. Book of Love. Yeah. I, that is such a good album. And I'm assuming that when you were at the store, you checked them. Yeah. And, and, and you, you won't find that weird sort of like, wait, what is this? Is this progressive rock? No, this is, this is what you would think it is. This is pristine. You may have even heard a couple of their songs. They did like I Touch Roses and I'm Not a Boy. And... Yeah. Sorry. yeah. Anyway, you remember that song by T'Pau? But that, you know, you a little bit of heart and so... Like, I always thought that that song was, was T'Pau trying to sound like Book of Love. Okay. So, y I think you'll like that one if, if you've never heard of this. I've never heard of that, um, but that's the the mm -hmm. team that brought you uh, Lion, King. Lion King. 
So somebody dumped off their, yeah, this, hmm, hmm. I'm not going to say anything about the person I think that probably donated all of these right here. <laughs> but I'm sensing a pattern. Okay. This is an address book that doesn't seem to have anything written in it, so it's a garage sale item probably. This, I wish it was in better shape. It's a garbage fail kid? No. It's a baseball card. Yeah, but it, it's like an old Kellogg's cornflake one, and it is in just terrible shape, and it's lenticular and everything, but it's in terrible shape. I wish it had been better, but put it in your bag. When 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 you're when you're buying stuff when 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 you're buying stuff at the bin and this is going to cost like half of a penny, it's just sort of like you know, if uh, even that. Yeah. Uh, so I bought an empty envelope <laughs> for you because I thought you might like it, but <laughs> thanks. But it it had to do with like this oh, was stuff was in it. So wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let's look. Let's examine. I don't have my reading glasses. Olympics. I see Olympics. I can't read. Oh, it's Canada. I moved my finger right off the bottom. How the fuck did this get in here? <laughs> Sorry, there goes the kid's uh, channel. It was not on the kid's channel. <laughs> um, <sighs> I do not know how that got. I literally do not know how to, that got in there. I'd never seen this before in my life. <sighs> I was excited about these. I thought, well, maybe they're forever stamps. And then, oh, Canada. Canada. Oh, yeah, I blame Canada. Who knows? These are probably the million-dollar stamps. Pollyanna. Maybe a one-legged person will want that. Shoot, <laughs> Pollyanna. I really have no idea how that got in there. Like, that wasn't even like... That wasn't even like me going, oh, well, this is nice. Maybe I'll find the other one. No, I have no idea where that came from. Sure, Chris. <laughs> came from your... The, what you wear in the evenings. Right. I'm going to guess that's a puzzle. Yeah. So, uh, yes, th these are these are challenge. These are, you know, when, when I'm done with the other one. So you're going to do them. Empty envelope at all times. Or at least the non-sealed ones. So um, all the non-sealed, I mean, all, excuse me, all the unpackaged yet sealed I put them all together in uh -huh. one bin right over there and taped it all together and tried to sell it for like $6 and it did not sell. So far. So far. This is Belinda Carlisle. I think you'd like her. <laughs> you at least know Belinda Carlisle. Yeah, I'm probably sure I might even... No, I don't think I'm not. Get in there, oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, it's made of metal, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Given that that was like a like a coffee filter or something like that happened there. I don't know what that's doing. That looks like it is to a cheap dollar store game. Probably. I also don't know what these were to, but one of these days I will find out what they were to and I'll be like, oh, I have some of those. Well, that looks like it's to a, oh, no, I was going to say a game, but then this looks like, it. oh, it's a matching game, I bet. Some sort of Christmas matching game. Conflict zone, modern war strategy. Oh boy. Lots of dance is John Michael Montgomery. Beans and cornbread and sausage. Uh, in, in the um in the cereal that Nathan and me did for the blog before it was the cereal when we were initially writing it as a 30-minute show sketch. There was a joke that I, I threw in there, which was, um, cause, uh, who, who was it was able to read minds? Was it, it was Nathan, right? Cause Miguel, yes. Miguel had the power to obfuscate his thoughts. And so Nathan couldn't read his thoughts. Yes. And so there was a joke in there, which was, um, Nathan looks at Chris and goes, who the hell is Mazzy star? And then Chris looks at him and thinks, and he goes, Oh, I love that song. <laughs> so I found Mazzy star. Oh, okay. I like them so much. She recently passed too, unfortunately, but they were such a good band. So these, I, I cringed myself at doing this because the CDs were not in there. <laughs> but why did you buy CD cases? Because no they're singles, and the thing is, is that they are you know rarer C singles. I actually own both of these, but. Um, so I, I was like, and, and they're the thinner, right? So if I ever happen to find these where, the, you know, 
the CDs are completely separate or, or yeah. something. So. Okay, you can put that in your Hello Kitty bag over yes. there, your, your doggy bag. You put that in the Nathan is mad at you bag, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I only reason why I did that because there's a lot of empty CD cases and I'm not going to buy them out there, but because those were what they were, I did it. Okay. Kill Bill. What you could have done to make that even cheaper was just to remove the cardboard out of the plastic cases. From some game or another. Oh boy, a DVD. Oh, wait a second. What's this? What's this? Just from some game or another, but the box wasn't there. A little. Oh, look at this. So. A coin purse. These are two very diff different Disney products. That's uh, the. Um, crap, I can't remember now. Anyway, I think this is from the Disney Ice Box. Oh, yeah, it is, because there we go. There's the cards. Uh, we got this game. Oh. It's a good game. Oh. It's cute puppy things. Any uh, money in there? Because we're gonna need it. No. Nope. Uh, also, you might you might be interested in that. It's a uh, EP. Yeah. I'm pretty good with their gray sets, and that's probably about all. Of them. Yeah. That's just a bunch of garbage. That's just a bunch of garbage. I think that's the second bunch of garbage you brought. Uh, no money, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Nor, nor were there any credit cards. In there. Come on, let's, come on, just dig, just dig, there's going to be some, oh man. I'm going to leave this with you as well, even though it only really kind of has, like, it, it's one of those where it's like, oh yeah, this is like three mixes of the same song, and then like another, but um, this is more uh, uh, Vince Clark. So Vince Clark, as I've explained to you before, was in the original Depeche Mode, the part that you, you are sort of into the, the just can't get enough. Money. He wrote that song. Then he moved on to Yaz, who you would really like. This is the Situation single. I actually own this myself. Three different mixes of it. Yeah. And it's got the song State Farm from uh, You and Me Both, the previous album to Upstairs at Eric's. And then Vince Clark. Also. I think you gave me Upstairs, uh, Upstairs at Eric's. Vince Clark was also the mastermind behind the Erasure songwriting. You, you're super into Vince Clark and you just don't even know I it. I don't even know it. <laughs> Wait, what are these? Uh, it's just Beach Boys. That's a greatest kids. I it, they have they have like this really bad album, and I, I, at first I thought it was that one. And I was like, oh shit! Even though this album's really bad, it had. But then I realized no, this is this is the greatest hits. But so okay, so this, is, this is Sean, and they're, they're they're actually pretty good. So garage sale, I put it out at the garage sale. What would we sell it for? A dollar? Because I mean, think about it. If you paid sixty six cents for it, it's still profit. If you paid thirty three cents, that's profit. Yeah. So does this batch of items, does it have a, another a, an average? Another night, another night, as I'm always true, another night, I don't know what that is. It's like a cover of Total Eclipse of the Heart and shit. Oh, and yeah, Beach of Soundtrack. Can you change? That was in the thing. This is, uh, uh -huh. That was in the Nine Inch Nails thing. Apparently. So do you have an average cost here? Uh, this one... I think average right around a dollar, oh. if I'm remembering correctly, but it's Man. not It's not because of the CDs. Weather Girls! Hallelujah, <laughs> it's raining. Oh, I love that song. That's the greatest song ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, man! <laughs> like, it, uh, it was, I don't know. It's just greatness. That song is greatness. That was mine and Candace's thing. Well, not, it was my thing. It was my making fun, being very unwoke. <laughs> Whenever we would go somewhere and we would notice again and again. Unfortunately. Oh my gosh, yeah. poor Anakin. Yeah, and this isn't really in very good shape. No, it's not. It's really not. Pencils, Chris. Yes, that's the other thing I tend to do. Sorry. We would go somewhere where there was predominantly a certain type of group. I would just be like making the noise of the thunder from the song. And she knew exactly what I meant whenever I was. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm laughing at your tale. Of, because like that, that, that is one of those things like the, the early dating years where. Yeah, you know, it's just like you just sort of have this sort of shorthand between you. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's those are amusing. Like, cause everybody has their own thing. It's it's these little inside jokes that that nobody else would ever get. This is a baby baby thing. All right, I think everything else in here is 
This is the worst bouncy ball ever because it's from a ping pong. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. Actually, it did. The, when I bounced it there, it went, it went sideways and shit. So maybe it's not too bad. But you still bought it. Still bought it. It's like, thank you for saving me from the trash pile, Chris. So I will grant you a wish. Everything else in this little rolly uh, Steve, Steve Lightning Queen Steve thing McQueen box. Uh, is all the puzzle shit. Oh, no. Oh, it didn't. didn't. I did. This will, be, this will be like a later challenge. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. So I'm put all the puzzle stuff in here. Put those back in there, yeah, you're taking except them back for, Except for the seal Except one. for that one. And I will see what I can do with these, uh, see, if I can, see if I can build anything. So, I, did, is this one complete? Uh, I do have more pieces for you. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just gonna cry. That's early Kenny G there. I actually really like Kenny. Kenny H. <laughs> Wouldn't that be later? G. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Just Boy, I really jacked that one up. What is this? It says U.S. stamps. Was there nothing in there? Because nobody wants stinking Canadian stamps. Eat more chicken, though. <sighs> Puzzle. Two puzzles in one. So you've checked Puzzle. these or no? No. Puzzle. 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 <laughs> puzzle that was open. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Seal puzzle, so I'm okay with that kind of. That, that one actually oh. poured out a little bit. Oh my gosh. Uh, seal puzzle. Where do these people get all these sealed puzzles at? <laughs> seal puzzle. They all have very similar color schemes, so I'm puzzle. wondering if they're. Puzzle. <laughs> puzzle. Was this the theme? I, I no, I, this didn't. This wasn't a theme day. This was just me going and just grabbing stuff. So, That's right, puzzle. just grabbing stuff. <laughs> grabbing anything. Another shaman CD. I like them a lot. Who? What are they? What kind of music is that? Um, kind of like late '80s, early '90s, sort of that 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 sort of. Soup Dragons kind of Brit thing that that, oh, oh, oh. that Simon Pegg listens to in, in uh, World's End. It's just like, like, oh, I can move, move, move any mountain. Yeah, you know, it's just very... I kind of love rapping. I can move, move, move any mountain. Like that kind of puzzle. In case you were ever wondering, Chris is really into music. All kinds of music. <laughs> And, 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 I, and I also have a lot of just random trivia about music That one too. will go well at the kids' zone. Yeah. Brain quest! Brain fart! Puzzle. There's another one. This thing. And this thing actually came alive at some point. I don't know exactly how I it came to alive. It just so Chris. <laughs> like that kind of came alive? It or? felt like it, yes. It wasn't exactly that, but it felt like it. This. It's pretty dirty, though. I apparently paid for because it was lodged in the uh, in the basket. Thank you for taking it out of my backside, Chris. <laughs> I shall grant you a wish. <laughs> what do we got here? Game thing. Game pieces. Let's see if I can identify it. Well, there's something mad. It's got mad eyes. You pick something out of it. Are there boogers? I think these are boogers. Probably. Puzzle. Oh my goodness. At least these three match. Puzzle. This is but, old school. But yeah, so th this was lodged in the basket and when I was when I was cleaning it out outside, I was like, you know what? I pay for it. I'm keeping it. Because I'm a hoarder. No, borderline hoarder. <laughs> I don't know. I might beg to differ there. <laughs> zip tie thing. I don't know. Let's see that. What is this? No, this is not a zip tie thing. This is a toy. Zzz. It is a zip. Yeah, it's a zip thing from a toy. Yeah. Puzzles. Oh. Hey, it had a lid. I was like so happy. No more puzzle. At least not in this one. <laughs> Let's see if there's more puzzle. Mm. Oh, puzzle. <laughs> puzzle. <laughs> this is the worst. Uh oh. Oh no, wait. Hold it. Is it sealed? No, it's not. This is the worst kind of puzzle. That's not a fun puzzle at all. Right, right. <laughs> it's like, 
That may be one. That might be kind of fun. Yeah, you know, it's kind of fun. Puzzle. I got a, a U.S. map that's kind of cartoony like that, and that's enjoyable. I think this may all be puzzles now. Oh Puzzle. Oh, gosh. Puzzle. This one's sealed. This looks like it's straight out of the Dollar Tree. This was another Norman Rockwell one that was not sealed. They did this one and they're like, I'm not doing the other one. This one's kind of nice. 500 piece marble pit. Little do we know that that's a rare collector's item at $5,000. I think I might do the kids DVDs because you had a couple of Barbie ones. I think I might do them in the next show. Puzzle. Kids show. It's the 4th of July. Billsbury puzzle. Do this real quickly. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Puzzle. Oh, no. Okay, so you'll probably scream at me for this one because this is going to be heavier than what I should have done. But I just kind of had to. Oh, no. What did you buy? No, I'm actually... This brings back some very... Wow, that's heavy. This brings <laughs> back some... It's really not. I mean, it's really not that heavy. But I bet you there's batteries in it. It feels really heavy like there's batteries in it. Maybe. So... Me and Chris have history with card shufflers. That's pretty much why I bought it. it, it, it basically, the history is we will shuffle anything we're playing except for Netrunner with card shuffler. <laughs> because we learned our lesson the hard way. Because <laughs> it will damage your expensive ass collectible card games. But for a time, it was wonderful. <laughs> and that is that trip. <sighs> so do you know how much this cost? Uh... This one was a little bit more, but um, I, no, I don't remember exactly. Huh, this this was actually a couple of weeks ago, so. So, okay, so there's a community-wide garage sale oh, coming up. I said puzzle, and it's holiday cards. Oh, even more how, valuable. How even, horrible of me to make that mistake. Even more valuable. <laughs> anyway, like I said, there's a community garage sale coming up, so I fully expect you to be here for that. Okay. When is it going to be? early to mid-April. I don't know. It's in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I'll be here. Because, you know, I don't work. I mean, I do work, but I don't work. I don't I don't have a schedule. So it's just like, you just go, hey, Chris, there's this thing going on. Be here. I'll be like, okay. Because I, you know, I'm completely free and not a slave to the machine at all. Okay. At all. <laughs> to the Goodwill machine. <laughs> I'm a slave to the Goodwill machine. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like, he will come and take our puzzles. All of them. <laughs> Chris is like, I'm just, I'm just community minded. I'm gonna recycle all of these puzzles because it's all paper. You know, that's that's the funny thing is that the the ones that are missing pieces is probably what's gonna end up happening. It's gonna be like, plonk, plonk. <laughs> it is fully interlocking. Oh my gosh! Isn't that like a German city or something interlocking or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like what fully interlocking, like was that was that new back then? Like <laughs> you just willy nilly put puzzle pieces together or something, and this is the new thing. Fully interlocking. These only semi interlock, but this one, and I don't know what it is. Something over here smells of piss. Oh, lovely. Are lovely. you smelling that? I'm smelling it. No, but I'm kind of upwind of it. So. Okay. Could be me. Let's look. No, I haven't peed myself, so I might have peed myself looking at all of this. One more puzzle comes out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. On to the next box. 